Welcome to 2020, everybody. We are in a new decade, and I figured there is no better way to start off this year than by doing a Wheel of Time recap. Everything we know about the show going into 2020. So, yes, everything that was announced in 2019 and earlier. I'm actually really planning on cranking up the Wheel of Time content on the channel this year. If you've been kind of thinking about reading it, now is the time to start because this channel is about to get a bit more Wheel of Time heavy. And if you start now, you should be able to finish, at least if you read at a decent rate, before the TV show is released by Amazon. So that's rather exciting. In fact, you know what? I'm officially declaring 20 20, the year of Wheel of Time. If you're a content creator, I highly recommend you start making content around it. And if you're a viewer, if you're someone who's just kind of been curious and you're a big fan of the channel and want to keep up with a lot of stuff that's about to happen, now's the time to get involved. I'll have purchase links for the first book right down there. But without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into everything we know about Amazon's The Wheel of Time. I first need to give a massive shout out to a Reddit user. I woke up this morning expecting to do a ton of research into the upcoming Wheel of Time show, but then I came across about 20 minutes into my research this post by user Wordhead, who put together an incredible uh, accumulation of pretty much everything that has been announced about the show, which is fantastic. You just saved me a bunch of time. I didn't think I'd be able to even start recording this till like 11 and it's only 9.30, so thank you. And now let's go ahead and talk about what's been going on in the Wheel of Time adaptation world. Now, while the Wheel of Time show is well on its way in production, filming in Prague, this has been long in development. All the way back in 2016, Sony acquired the rights to the Wheel of Time from Red Eagle Entertainment, and it was the following year where they struck a deal with Amazon, where a Wheel of Time TV show would be created. It seems for season one, eight episodes have been commissioned. I did not know this when I made my predictions for season one video. I thought it'd be at least 10, but with eight being confirmed, this pretty much confirms that mostly season one will just be covering the first book, The Eye of the World, with maybe elements from other books in there. We've definitely seen some casting of characters that hints at that, as well as some expanded storylines for the earlier books. It's been noted that Rafe Judkins is a fairly large fan of Loghain and does plan on expanding his role in the books. I'm personally excited about that. I think Loghain is one of the most underutilized great characters in the series, so getting him better established earlier on, I really do believe, will make later beats of the story hit even harder. So I'm down for that. That seems cool. And a lot of that earlier casting actually does make sense uh, for what we're talking about here. One of the Aes Sedai whose cast may have been involved with his capture, and you could definitely write it that way. The shooting of of season one itself did begin September 16th of this year and is expected to go all the way until May of 2020 though although of course that date could shift the end dates for shows and movies filming does move around a bit if they ever encounter delays or just things take longer than expected so as of now May 2020 it seems things will wrap filming now a second season has not officially been greenlit though there's been a lot of things that show that it might already be in the works at least there is a difference between in the works and officially greenlit, but we got a post from Rafe Judkins where he showed a season two writer's room, so it seems Amazon is at least making efforts to get season two rolling, although this is not official green lighting, although knowing my luck that by the time I have this video up, it will be officially greenlit, but hey, whatever. Now, the biggest thing I want to actually question here, and not everything that has been speculated or talked about by fans has been confirmed, is the official release date of the show, because we've seen a couple uh, casting agencies and one merchandise uh, company that's involved with this Wheel of Time show now say that the uh, air date for the show is expected end of 2020. I looked into this and by no means has this been confirmed by the actual Wheel of Time show and with the filming going all the way until May and potentially later, that would be a rather tight, though not impossibly tight, post-production. I am more of the opinion that these seem like filler dates uh, for these people who maybe weren't given an actual release date yet, because even Amazon didn't know, and so they just kind of put in 2020, end of 2020, because uh, they don't actually have, like, December or anything like that. It's just, like, end of 2020. So I don't think this is confirmed at all. I disagree with this one, although people seem to be just running with it and saying, hey, we're for sure getting Wheel of Time by the end of 2020. 
I would say it's more like a 50, 50 shot. 20, 20, 50, 50, okay. And I'm gonna get people mad at me for saying this stuff again, but I actually want Wheel of Time to have a longer post-production. People are comparing this to Witcher, which had a reasonably in the same ballpark post-production as what we're talking about here for Wheel of Time potentially having. And I found the post-production of The Witcher to be a little bit disappointing. The VFX especially needed more work at multiple instances, and I don't want Wheel of Time to suffer from that same problem. And Amazon shows in general have had a longer post-production period than what this is. So I think there's more things leaning towards this just being companies and people putting in dates for filler purposes and not actually being confirmed. Just my speculation. Feel free to prove me wrong and hey, if I'm wrong, that means get wheel time sooner and that's okay. When it comes to budget, Nothing has been confirmed, but Amazon has given the Lord of the Rings TV show they're working on coming down the road a absolutely crazy huge budget, shattering records for what a TV show has ever been given for a season one. So they're definitely handing out the cash for these adaptations that are hoping to really carry their streaming service. I do believe that The Wheel of Time will be given a rather large budget. I'd expect between probably larger than we sell for season one of The Witcher, just due to the requirements of storytelling, which is much smaller, fairy tale following these individuals while Wheel of Time is on this much grander epic scope, but I'm going to be honest, it probably wasn't given as big a budget as the Lord of the Rings show, because one, Amazon would announce that, they'd want to say, and we topped the record again, but they haven't. So it's probably not as big as that, though I'd say maybe even in the same ballpark. I'd assume if they're going to do the Wheel of Time, one of the largest fantasy series of all time, they'd put aside a mountain of cash for it, and I hope that's the case. Now, as for writers for The Wheel of Time, we have Rafe Judkins, who has been confirmed to write several of the scripts and has experience doing uh, many TV shows previously, including Chuck, Hemlock Grove, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and there have been other season one writers announced, including Kate Schuma, who wrote The Blacklist in Berlin Station, Paul and Michael Clarkson, who read The Feed and parts of His Dark Materials, Dave Hill from Game of Thrones, and Justine Gilmer, Into the Badlands, The 100, and Celine Song, who is a playwright. We have had several directors confirmed as well, including Alta Bruritz, who has directed Stranger Things, Westworld, and Jessica Jones, and just side note, my favorite episodes of Westworld, Cool. Wayne Yip, who directed Doctor Who Into the Badlands and Preacher, and Sally Richardson Whitefield, who directed Punisher, Doom Patrol, and American Gods. We also have a Wheel of Time Uber fan who has been hired on as a consultant, someone who is very active in the Wheel of Time community and the Twitter of Time hashtag as well online, and that is Sarah Nakamura. Brandon Sanderson apparently is being a some form of creative consultant for the show, but is not writing episodes and is not directly involved in any form of major formal role way, at least from what we've been told as a fan base. Of course, I'd love to hear that, but the guy's busy with his own stuff and it's very understandable that he can't make time for it. He's working on the next Stormlight book, for God's sake. As well as Harry, it does have some form of consulting role, at least it's been speculated. I haven't found anything confirming this online. Now, when it comes to episodes, we have a few titles confirmed and eight episodes total for the whole series being confirmed as well. When it comes to episode titles, we have Leave Takings, written by Rafe Judkins for the first episode. Episode two will be Shadows Waiting, written by Amanda Kate Schumann. The third episode will be A Place of Safety, written by the Clarkson Twins. Episode four will be The Dragon Reborn, written by Dave Hill. Episode five title is unknown. Episode six will be The Flame of Tarval written by Justine Gilmer. The final two episodes' titles are unknown as well, unfortunately. 22 actors have been confirmed for the show, and let's quickly just burn through them here. We have Rosamund Pike starring as Moraine Damondred, Joshua Stradowski as Rand Althor, Madeline Madden as Egwene Alvere, Marcus Rutherford as Perrin Abara, Barney Harris as Matt Cawthon, Zoe Robbins as Nynaeve Almira, Daniel Hinney as Lan Mandragoran, Michael McElhatton as Tam Althor, Alvarto Morte as Logan Albar, Hamed Animashwan as Loyal, Alexandre Willem as Tom Maryland, Johan Myers as Padon Fane, Abdul Salas as Emmond Valda, Pierce Quigley as Master Hightower, Priyanka Bose as Alana Mosvani, Taylor Napier as Maxim, Emmanuel Imani as Yvonne, Christopher Skiref as Abel Cawthon, Juliet Howland 
as Natty Cawthon, the Butanaseva twins as the Cawthon sisters, Helena Westerman as Layla Ibarra, Roman Dvork as Narg slash Trollic. Now, it's strange to see some of these castings because they do not appear until later books, these characters, I mean. And some people are speculating drastic changes to season one. I think most of this can be explained away by just showing Loghain's capture on screen and maybe some throwaway scenes they're adding to just help build events later on. I don't think this foreshadows super huge, over drastic changes, or maybe it does. This is for the fans to decide and we'll not know until the show's release. A lot of controversy has been around this leaking, not official casting, but it was shown on an agency's website of Layla Ibarra. In the books, Perrin did have a girlfriend or some kind of romantic interest before leaving Emmons Field of the same name, and some people are speculating they're changing it to a wife, and we're not sure what's going to happen from there. None of this is confirmed, it's all rumors, and hey, maybe the agency just made a mistake and this person actually isn't in Ibarra and we don't know what's going on there. It's completely unknown. Now, this is pretty much all the news we have. There's also a ton of crew members involved, and I will throw up from this beautiful Reddit post I'm heavily pulling from. Thank you again, Wordhead, for putting it together uh, to show these crew members as well. I'm just not going to go over each of them here. But let me know if I missed anything down below. I'm very excited that they are filming in Prague. It's a gorgeous city in a beautiful country, the Czech Republic, and it definitely captures the vibe and architecture I think we will be seeing in the early on and or at least, you know, that's my assumption. But the excitement is in the air. I feel like it's helpable in the Wheel of Time community, and I just, I can't wait to see where we're all going to get in 2020, and I hope you guys are excited for the year of Wheel of Time here on the channel. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here, and have a good one, y'all. Peace. And of course, I want to give a special shout out to my latest high-tier Patreon, Aaron Triplett. Thank you so much for reaching out on Patreon, and I appreciate it immensely.